Now, you mentioned this, um, people put these fighting videos on social media, on the internet. Um, I'm always curious, like, why do, why are people so fascinated by posting these videos? I wish I didn't have to look in my feed and see a brother stomping out another brother every single day. Um, I'm starting to unfollow people that love to post these videos. I don't know, I think that we're just so caught up in the fuckery. We're so caught up in being negative and liking negative toward each other when we're not each other's enemy, but we're so caught up in making it like that, that that's what we see, that's what we, it's one of those things where, you know, old people tell you what you eat, sleep and do, that's who you are. And it's one of those things where they so caught up in the negativity of reality and what's going on that they're not focusing in on positivity and sharing that. And like you say, I didn't deleted so many people just because it's just too much going on as far as in promoting negativity. When we have some real potent positive people that really don't get as much shares, as much likes, they don't go viral, but the bull crap do. So I believe, I believe it's self-talk. I believe it's monkey see, monkey do. How has the social media impacted your life and the work you do? Um, it impacted as far as in me being able to share different things that I am doing for other people to see it. It has impacted as far as in people like needing food, people that may need uh, counseling for their daughter. They're able to see it. I'm able to promote what it is that I do for thousands of people to see it versus passing out flyers within my community to maybe a couple of hundred if I'm doing a footwork, when I can just post something and thousands of people can see it to promote myself. So it has impacted me in a positive way for what I promote. And now you started a YouTube channel. Uh, how, how difficult is it in trying to get your, your YouTube audience to grow? Um, it's difficult as far as in with my people. People don't like to share anybody that's growing, my personal opinion. It's one of those things where you have to step out the box or you have to be discovered by somebody that don't know you, love your story, see who you are as a person, and they want to help you and help you grow. But it's been, it's been a struggle. And if one were to look on my YouTube channel, I mean, I've interviewed, just to put a name out there, Krista Glove. You know what I'm saying? And that's somebody that helped Dr. Dre start Aftermath. You know, so he's a real potent person, but don't too many people know about it because my people won't share it. So it's pretty hard to start your own YouTube channel. Now, if I start twerking or if I start fighting, you know, I'll probably go viral real fast, but it is what it is. I'm gonna stay on the grind with what it is that I do, promoting positivity. I think everything is a process. You know, I mean, you have to put in the work. And my YouTube channel is only like, I wouldn't even say, I would say about a year old now. So I'm still putting in the work, you know, and I'm interviewing different people as well as sitting there having conversations about different topics with the people that's actually watching, you know. So it's, it's work. It's work. You have to grind it out. You have to put in the work. You have to pay your dues, as I call it, you know, for it to, for it to actually pop, especially something positive. I'm sure you've been to other communities where they got little parks. Yeah. And how do you feel? You go to this, a, a neighborhood and they got a tiny little park. And y'all got this big old sprawling park. I mean, shit, I didn't make the, um, I didn't make the, um, what do you call it, the, um, the blueprint, you know? So, I mean, I just feel that this park needs to be used. Like you say, we got so much space. It needs to be used for more positivity for the kids. You know, we have the football team that's up here, the LA Panthers, you know, we have a big gym, you know, I mean, we need to use it for more of what the community needs. And I mean, it just takes people to actually come out and to really put in the footwork and to stay consistent and do it. And I'm one of those people. Well, you're always gonna have the younger generation of Athens Park's bloods hanging out here. And maybe the older cats have transitioned but it's those younger generation that are, that are always going to be hanging out and maybe discouraging kids that don't want to get involved in the streets to go to the park. I know that I was at this one park where this mother said, 
I start bringing my kids here because the young, the young kids from the hood, they're always here so deep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she can't bring her kids to just play. She don't want her kids uh, around that element. Um, how do we get to that younger generation? I mean, it's a struggle. You have to put things in play that they like. I don't know, a game truck, everybody play on their phone, everybody play video games. You know what I'm saying? You have to start implementing things in the community that the young kids are into right now to actually get them to come out. And you may transform some of the, um, the ones that's actually active and for them to get a different perspective of what they should and shouldn't be doing. So I believe you have to implement things that the kids actually want to be involved in that they see intriguing, you know. I don't know, start passing out maybe phones for different events or whatever the case may be to actually call them in to get them there to actually speak what it is that you're trying to talk to them about. Yeah. So it's different things, but you have to do the footwork. And my thing is doing the footwork with the young women. Thanks for watching StreetTV.net. If you're not subscribed, please hit that button below and click the bell to receive alerts and notifications. Feel free to comment below so you can give us your feedback and be sure to watch the two related episodes to the right. If you want to support this platform or follow us on social media, visit the links in the description and thanks for watching StreetTV.net.